Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So I'm going to teach you how to make a FNAF fan game. Woohoo! But, um... Yeah, let's just get started. So first, delete this guy. I don't really care about him. Then we're going to make a new guy. So there's really no point to that guy being deleted. But who cares? Just name it Models, because it's where you're going to be your animatronic set. And I'll just... Model a guy real quick. I'll see you in a little bit. And I'm done. All right. So this is Bob. We got he's a, he's just a yellow guy. We got Gary, sad guy. Then we got Flunker, angry guy. And then we got Withered John, or just John if you want to call him that. So yeah. And remember, graphics aren't everything. You can have. A fun FNAF game, but with really bad graphics. So, yeah. Now, you see on the screen, remember to save. There's, uh. They're on the screen when these are supposed to be the models, not the menu. That and uh, that. If you don't know how to code in Scratch, Basically, whenever the green flag is clicked, it will hide. And when you stop it, it won't. But yeah. Anyways, now we're gonna actually make the thing. So if you want, you can do like the normal FNAF 1 style, FNAF 2, where like they're all on the menu. But we're just gonna do FNAF 1 style, because that's what we're just gonna be trying to recreate. So now, remember, you don't have to, like, oversize it, but I just like to have it small here and then big over here. So, yeah, we're just going to make a couple frames. Like. Just. can like have this face blown out here and have the little endo guy in there hidden all right um Little things might be here, but you can just like size them down or do what I did and just edit the actual shape. And then this one, when green flag sh clicked, show forever. It's what I like to do, but you can do it like on a different way where it's like forever, like doing this for example. Like that. That's kind of too quick and remember we're recreating the old FNAF games like the first one and basically this is too fast so we're gonna switch costume to wolf one they like whatever you want you can play fast you want then no like two to four so now it's gonna pick one of these costumes not one I think and then and it'll go back so let's see our code in action there now we're gonna make a black background but if your character has black on it like me you could either make the mm, background lighter like that or you could just make 
the parts where you can't see like his hat lighter Anyways, so, um, you have your little guy. Uh, so now we're gonna just see how it looks so far. Okay. Now you can either like make your own sprite for like five nights at Bob's, or you can have it like in the actual backdrop, like right here. I mean, if you want, but I'll do this. You don't have to copy me. Um, now we're gonna make the actual buttons and stuff. So first you're gonna want to make your black box. Because we're trying to make a blend in. And then you're gonna like do new game. And then put it here and see how it blends in with the background. Because we don't want them to just click on the text because that's really annoying. When green flag clicked, show. When sprite clicked, broadcast, start. And then hide. So basically what this does is if you click on this button, it'll go away, but nothing else. You see for this one, you're gonna have to, for backdrops, you're gonna have to do that. Like, you know, that, that, that. To make these actual like sp the actual sprites that do stuff disappear, just do this and then that. And now everything should go away. But you see, we don't really have an actual thing, so we're just gonna make a little night one. Now, if you want to be fancy, make it like fade in. Let me teach you that. So here we're gonna, when green flag clicked, hide, when I receive start, show, but also we're gonna have to set the ghost effect to 100, and then you're gonna have to do maybe a little bit of math, but I just like to do this, 100, one click. Oh wait, I made a mistake, alright. Or if you wanna not make it do it immediately, you can like do wait one second and then and then wait like four seconds hide. But also you're gonna want it to broadcast office. Oh yeah, you may want a night variable. Cause as this um because this will like tell for like animatronic AI and stuff. So this is going to be night one. See? And you're going to want to press this checkbox right here for it to go away. And then we're going to just make the rest of the nights. I'm going to keep it centered. But also over here, these are like the coordinates. So zero zero is the exact center. I accidentally exported that. Now you're just gonna want to do that for the rest of the nights. If you want, you can have a night six. But yeah, we're gonna, we're just recreating the some of the FNAF one. But yeah, we're gonna have that. But in order to actually access them while being able to like 
like leave the project and go back is just do the old fashioned way and just do passwords. If you don't have scratch add ons like me, you're gonna have to do this and like move it accordingly. I mean, one can make it like the exact X value. Yeah, but when the sprite clicked, it's gonna ask. Now, please enter the password. But you see, we have no passwords program like Night 2. So we're gonna have to go if equals answer and then just put like whatever we're just gonna do night two lol, 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 lol. actually just night two and then if answer equals night two then you need to do like a broadcast night two or set night actually we can just delete that part and then you're gonna put this here night to one and you see do that and then start and then we're gonna put some code in here going forever switch costume to night so right now the there's a it's night one so if you do like night zero if it's like zero then it's I don't know what it actually does I don't know, I know bugs out so we're just gonna okay it just goes to the last costume but yeah so we're just gonna go night one but you see the uh, password button doesn't hide so first we're gonna go okay we already did that and then when I receive star hide you know, just for this, you might be thinking, oh, why did I just put it in here? But you see, when you press that button, it's not going to go away. So, yeah. Um, Let's make the office real quick. Uh, I'll pause in a second to make it. So, I'll see you, like, in a millisecond for you. All right, I'm back with the office. Sorry for that really loud noise. I accidentally dropped my mic a little. Okay, yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Okay, so we have our office, but I have two frames. See the fan right here? That's where we're using one of our frames on. So when green flag clicked, hide. Now instead of doing the basic thing, show right well we can't scroll and we want to scroll so we're just gonna totally use this totally not fake um code that i definitely made by myself uh pause for a minute to copy this except for the mouse wipe part because actually you can if you want but So yeah, and now we have somewhat, I like doing minus two, but it's kind of like a lot, so I don't know, just ch choose what you think is good. Now, when I receive office for forever, that, that is way too fast, so we're going to go away in a second. 2.3 and then we can like it looks a little better but it looks like the hands kind of moving well if, if you have this blur effect I don't know what can fix it except like bitmap but like if you have an office like mine it's gonna cut off like all of it so I don't know how to fix it but 
We have a fan now. Um, here, I'll get you the door thing. So, basically, first you're going to want to just get the door. Copy the lines off of this. Remember to pause when I, like, when I pause. So you can make your thing. Like the animatronics in the office. And I just forgot to say that now. Whatever. Alright. So, for, we're going to use our line tool. If you want to know how to get straight lines, just hold shift while. If you're on mobile, um, just get good, I guess. Just make sure you pay attention to geometry. I don't know. And then we're going to want to do that. And then you want to copy, make a new sprite, and then paste. Then delete this. As you can see, now it's in our office, but it's not scrolling with us. So we're just gonna. Wow, it's working all of a sudden, but this thing shows up. Like when I scroll over here, it shows up. It's a scratch bug, I think. So I don't know what to say about that. And then we're just gonna make the other door. So here, I'm gonna teach you a little hack. If you do this, if you make a big old square and then burst it, you get the exact same results. It's like the image is mirrored, except it's a little bad, so we're going to have to fix it. No. That's actually pretty good. So you want to... Go minus one, minus two. This one. If you ever change like how sensitive it is, you're gonna have to change every sprite in the office that can scroll. So yeah. Now we got little doors. But where's the buttons? I'm gonna get to that right now. And after that, that's gonna be it for this part of the tutorial. So basically, all you're gonna want to do is just make a little thing, that, this, bing, bam. Uh, if you want, you can try to make your own light button. But all I'm gonna do is just make a. All I'm gonna do is just make this, just a door button. And now, let me see what I'm gonna show. All right. Now, you see, when I usually do my normal scrolling thing, it goes like to the opposite of your mouse. So, like, it would, if it were, my mouse was over here where this door is, then it would be over here where this door is. But with this code that I definitely made, that I totally did not steal from a guy named Scooty the Awesome, um, it's okay. So, when right clicked now do whatever you want but I'm gonna call it right door closed and then actually no we're gonna make a variable called right door if equals right door one set it to zero but then, what else you're gonna want to make a second sprite? I accidentally just zoomed in. I'm gonna make it, make that button green. And then, and then, boom. But you see, we don't really have an animation for the door closing, so we're just gonna make one real quick. Remember to pause the video so you can make your own. I'm going to make my own. By the way, here's a good tip. Um, You should probably start with the door like fully closed. And then like make your design there. And then like. Then you would stretch it up and then keep going down. Until it co colors the whole thing. Never mind, I'm stupid. Uh, you do want to broadcast.
I'd also do it for both doors. Sorry. Okay, I have a little thing now, so it should probably look like this. Like doors next to or on top of whatever. Right? And then when you press them, uh, copy the code if you need to. Basically the exact same, just different variables. Um, so yeah. Uh, so that's gonna really be it. Uh, I'm gonna show you the finished project. That that's there. I, mean, I forgot to say that part. video. So we're playing this game called Fun at the Bob. All right. So. Cool darts. I just already opened. Uh, thank you guys for watching.